Hey guys, do you happen to have this message on your Android device? Verify your account with your Google account. If you have this message, it's probably because you factory reset your device and now it has the FRP lock. In many cases, you might have forgotten the password and you might be wondering, how can I get access to my device? I'm gonna show you that on this video. I'm gonna show you a simple trick. We're gonna do all this process online, meaning there is no need to download any type of software. And it's gonna be all thanks to safeunlocks.com. Once you're on the website, go to services and click on the third one, FRP unlock. As you can see, unlock any Android device from Android FRP lock. It's as simple as that. They have awesome resources over here, reviews, information. There is full, there is everything you need to know about FRP and this method on this. So we're not gonna focus on that on this video, otherwise it will take like 20 minutes, but sure, we don't want that. We want to see the process. So we need to start with our name, then our email, and we have to select the device model we need to, well, we want to unlock. So in this case, I got a Samsung device that currently has the FRP lock. So we're gonna click on Samsung. If you don't have a Samsung, you can see all of these models over here. It even has any Android model, so there is no need to worry about this. So as you can see, I need to enter my IMEI because it says, do you have an IMEI? And we need some sort of way to identify this device with the server. So now we have to enter that IMEI number in this case, and in most cases with Android devices, you'll find your IMEI somewhere on the device itself. By law, they need to put it. As you can see, there is some information right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says IMEI over here. So I, I will enter that information and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm done doing this. As you can see, I got it right here. If you have the box, you're in luck because you will find your IMEI number right there. If you don't find it in either on the back of the phone, in the box, you'll be able to find it over here in the SIM card tray in most devices. So open the SIM card tray and there is a high chance your IMEI number will be right there. After that, we have to click on I set the $1 fee to sign up and unlock my device. And we have to click on the proceed button next. Over here, you can see your order ID is, well, that's my order ID. You'll have your unit order ID when you unlock your device. And now we have to get a membership ID. It might sound complicated, but it is not. Over here, scroll down and it says need help. Let's watch this video for a sec. Hey, it's Jacob from Safe Unlocks. Your order with us is almost ready. They show exactly what you need to do. It's only 58 seconds. There is no reason why not to watch this video and they will show you exactly what you gotta do. So after you watch the video, I'm just gonna show you a little part of the process right here. We need to complete the CAPTCHA, continue to sign up, click on the button, it says processing, and I got my sign up link over here. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back with you in just one minute. Okay guys, I'm done completing my membership ID. It was a really simple process and all we have to do now is to go to our email. Now, over here in the inbox, we have to wait for that membership ID. So let's give it a minute. All right guys, perfect. I can see the email by Safe Unlocks membership ID. Let's open it up. It says, hey Nick, thank you for using Safe Unlocks. Your membership ID has been verified. Please use it on the order page to get started. Over here, I have the ID. So we're gonna copy this exact ID and we're gonna go to the order. And over here where it says, enter here to continue, we're gonna paste it. And if you did everything correctly, you'll see the start order button. It is as simple as that. We're gonna press it. And as you can see, your order is now in progress. Now, you might be wondering what you have to do now. It is really simple. They're gonna send us some login details where we're gonna enter it on the FRP device to unlock it. So let's go back to the email and let's open the inbox over here and let's wait for that. Okay guys, perfect. FRP dummy ID. Let's open this email. Your FRP dummy ID was generated successfully. Please enter this ID on the device you have selected using the IMEI number. This dummy ID does not contain any type of personal data. We got an email and a password, so we're gonna tape off FRP lock device and we're gonna enter that same information that was sent on our email. So let's go ahead and do that. 
right, I got the email and now let's enter the password. All right, let's make sure everything is correct. So you can see, same email, same password. And after that, we're gonna hit on the next button. All right, over here, we're gonna press on add previous account. And over here, don't copy. All right, account added. And all we have to do now is to hit next. Now, next over here, just say yes to this. That's it. And over here, skip. And skip anyway. You don't want to install any of these apps. And hit on OK. And over here, sign up to your Samsung account. We're gonna skip this, skip, and finish. All right, remind me later. And now we're on the home screen of this Android device. So all we have to do now, it's really simple. Go to settings, and all you have to do now, scroll down, accounts and backup, go to accounts and over here I can see the dummy account and we're gonna press remove account remove account and that's all you have to do it was really simple so you can see this device is now fully unlocked from the FRP lock if you want to do it yourself remember go to safeunlocks.com and you'll be able to do it in only a few minutes and remember you only need a browser and an internet connection it is really simple and we hope this video was really helpful for you. See you again on next video. Bye.